I'm not a baker, I'm a lover. How do you pull off a vegan chocolate chip cookie that's gonna be as good? The vegan world of baking is mine now. What's up everybody, it's your girl Merle. Today I'm gonna be bringing my dear friend Aria onto the show. He has a huge sweet tooth, specifically he loves chocolate chip cookies. So today I'm gonna go get him and we're gonna go and find the best vegan chocolate chip cookie that LA has to offer. And then I'm gonna bring him back here to the kitchen and we're gonna make our own homemade version. So I'm hoping that I can prove to him that there is a vegan cookie out there in this universe that is just as good, if not better, than the one that he knows and loves. So let's go wrangle Aria. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. I'm a little a little skeptical today. I haven't I, even told you what we're doing. Oh, yet. great. <laughs> You're just skeptical in general of me. You have a huge sweet tooth. This I, I know about you. Yes, I do love sweets. Yeah. I've always loved sweets ever since I was a little, a little boy. I love cookies, I love donuts, love I love boba. croissants, I love boba. Earlier this year, I did train uh, for a video. I did, I did an MMA fight. Uh, you were there, I you remember. saw my shirtless. I saw That's, you get choked out. That body was achieved by avoiding processed sugar for a long time. <laughs> so that was the hardest part? I think it, having a man's arm wrapped around my <laughs> neck was the hardest part, but yeah. <laughs> I did miss sweets, Okay. and I did have cookies for four months. And chocolate chips specifically are, oh, thank you. You love chocolate chip cookies. I love chocolate chip cookies. One of my favorite places to get a cookie is actually here in LA. It's a place called Diddy Reese, which has, I think, probably the best cookies I've actually ever had. And I think what I love about cookies really is reflected in the cookies they make. When they're perfectly moist, they're soft, they're tender, they're like little nuggets of I don't like the word choice you have for any of these descriptions. I do. Nuggets and moist, it's disgusting. Mm. And then, just when you're starting to really enjoy the cookie itself, oh, oh, a little delectable surprise in a little bit of chocolate chip. <laughs> it's like an extra little <laughs> gooey treat. And sometimes when I eat a chocolate chip cookie, I close my eyes, so I don't even know where the chocolate chip is coming from. Like You sit and close your eyes while you're eating chocolate chip mm -hmm. cookies? Wow. But bottom line is, you know how I'm vegan. Are you? I am, yeah. I've tried to get you to dabble a little bit here and there in vegan food, right? Yes, yes, you certainly have. Yeah. I would, I'm very open-minded with the things I eat, but a, a chocolate chip cookie seems tough to me. How do you pull off a, a vegan chocolate chip cookie that's gonna be as good as a Diddy Reese cookie. So you don't think that I can find a vegan chocolate chip cookie that's gonna make you like it as much? No, as I just think it'll be a challenge for you. Rachel, do you feel like we can veganize this for him so he's gonna I actually? I think that baked goods are one of the easiest things to veganize. I agree. Really? Well, I'm not intimidated. So I'm gonna take you first to an all vegan bakery and we're gonna find a cookie that's as good as what you just described. Correct? Vegan bakery? All vegan. It's good to expand your culinary horizons. You know, I'll do anything for you. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's a good sharp turn, eh? <laughs> Great. Good to know. Why did you decide to open an all vegan bakery? I had multiple food allergies back in the early 2000s, like gluten, soy, dairy. My main mission at the bakery is to create a place where everyone can go. They don't have to worry about reading labels and they can just have a fun experience and then be surprised by it later. You think the chocolate chip cookie is one of your best selling items? Yes. I care so much about this recipe because my mom was a chocolate chip cookie maker oh. and all of us were growing up. We were very competitive about our version. So I knew what a perfect chocolate chip cookie tasted like and so I knew I needed to give it everything and I needed this recipe to be perfect before I shared it. How do you make a chocolate chip cookie vegan? The way that I make it is with coconut oil, and I'm sure you're aware that a traditional cookie starts with butter, and the thing that I love about coconut oil is it hardens when it comes below room temperature, and so it has that sort of short bready texture when you bake it. I use fruit purees instead of eggs, a bit of arrowroot to make it chewy, and a garbanzo fava bean flour. The batter can't be too sweet because the chocolate chips really need to be the diva in it. I like and, that. Um, <laughs> it's true. Yeah, it has to be a nice balance. A lot of people think that you need eggs or butter or milk chocolate to make delicious baked goods, but there are so many alternatives that are easy to swap in and you're never gonna really notice the difference. And when they come out, it's crispy on the edges, chewiness in the center, and within three minutes, it's perfect time to eat it. Yay! Oh my, oh my gosh. gosh. I didn't expect so many. They smell. This moment is getting a little more intimate okay. than I'd like to see, so Don't maybe we... <laughs> the oh my. I really want to swear right now. Oh, okay, f*** it. <laughs> this is amazing. So good! The crispy on the outside, but it's like chewy and moist in the middle. 
when I came over, I was like, okay, it looks like a cookie. Well, it tastes like one. I was still on the fence before I took the bite out. Huh? Oh, it tastes fantastic. This is way better than I thought it was gonna be. You see, this is a problem for me though, because I don't live in a very vegan friendly part of town. There's no Aaron McKenna's near me. You're right, you're totally right, it's a great point. So that's why I'm gonna take you back to the kitchen and I'm gonna show you, we're gonna make our own really good vegan chocolate chip cookie. So that way, if you can't make a trip out to this incredible bakery, you can make it at home. Uh, you you just, can make some for me. You just wanna spend quality time with me. And then you can come over, I'll make some cookies for you. Yeah, that's why. <laughs> okay, so we got back to the bakery. Is your recipe gonna be better than Aaron McKenna's? I don't know. And then secondly, the fact that you want me to make it, I'm fairly sure these cookies are definitely not gonna be as good as Aaron McKenna's. <laughs> I'm not a baker, I'm a lover. The only time I've seen Arya try to bake, he killed yeast immediately. We tried to make mm -hmm. vegan cinnamon rolls, he stirred it, killed the yeast, never rose. It's still very tasty. But today I want to allow you to f*** this up. <laughs> <laughs> oh my lord. Don't get jealous. I'm very good friends with Alvin. You know, ah, Alvin, Alvin Zhu. Yeah, he's a tasty producer. Yes. I love Alvin. Making it big. Making it big, always. He it makes does. big things. Yeah, I know. It's a show on Tasty. Yeah, I know. Oh. I used to be a producer on Tasty. He is the master of chocolate chip cookies. I gotta give it to him. The man, it's almost weird how much he likes chocolate chip cookies. So the secret to his success is brown butter. We can't do that today because it's vegan, right? We're making it vegan. Oh yeah, because butter's from a cow. Correct. Teeth. So instead, what we're gonna be doing today is we're gonna be using pecans. Ah, I hate pecans. <laughs> no, no, I'm gonna <laughs> let you do the honors. Very important that we do not burn these nuts. So keep your eyes on the prize here, okay? Butter has milk solids in it. Obviously, oil does not. These nuts are gonna bring like a nice nutty flavor that you might be getting for butter if it's browned. Give them a little sh yeah. shake. Oh, it smells good. It's oh, good. that smells nice. Okay, we're using coconut oil. Good job. I feel like I'm cooking <laughs> yeah, my nephew. Yeah. <laughs> we wanna infuse the oil with a nutty flavor. Oh, I can sort of uh, smell that for sure. Wow, look at that. It's getting very brown. Very toasty, very nutty. When it looks like this, we can take it off the heat. <laughs> We're gonna strain it now. Okay, so give me that. One thought ahead, and we have a cooled down version of our nutty oil here. That's smart. You're gonna oh. strain the nuts out of the oil. So there's no nuts in my butter. That's right. That makes sense. That's right. Ah, uh, both of these. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to, this is oil, it's gonna stain my shoe. Uh, That's good enough. Okay, uh, but what about these leather pecans? This is a, this is a waste. Folks of the internet, don't waste things. Instead, you could toss these over a salad. If you want to, you can put them straight into the cookie batter. Oh, don't do that. But we want a traditional oh. chocolate chip cookie on mm -hmm. the show, so we're not gonna let the nuts get into the mix. Okay. We're getting closer and closer to the cookie. We've got the brown butter. We have some brown sugar, some granulated sugar, some non-dairy milk. There are many, many ways you can substitute eggs in baking. For instance, Aaron McKenna uses a fruit puree. You can use bananas. You can make a flax egg. What's really cool is that all you really need for this recipe is the non-dairy milk. You need to recreate the liquid that you would get from an egg. I'm a baker. <laughs> Five-year-old man. You have done an, a tremendous job, honestly. This is great. Now what we're gonna do mm -hmm. is we're gonna microwave this. We're gonna break the sugars down. They're gonna melt into more of a liquid. So we microwave this. Now you see mm -hmm. the, the sugars have melted down. We have this nice liquidy consistency. And what that's gonna do is just give us a smoother batter. All right, so this is good to go. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna combine our dry ingredients. Ah, this is flour. flour. Yeah, you nailed it. Baking soda, and then some salt. All right, <gasps> sift that right in there. Oh wow. It's like snow, the first snow. Can you please just do this? <laughs> now you get to mix this together. And my only other concern is that when I usually eat these cookies, I, I usually have a little glass of milk with it, but um, if we're going all vegan. There are so many non-dairy milks out there on the market. I've actually tried a couple of these. Even though they're, 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 they're a little too runny. <laughs> they're a little too runny for me. Runny? Milk. I like a little cream. I want it thick. Okay. Yes, yes. I understand, I, I, oh, I, I know you do. I, oh my God, Sorry. <laughs> I hear your concerns. If you make a homemade non-dairy milk, it can be a lot creamier. So yeah. it's, it's more than possible. All right, you've done a lovely job here. Now it's time to add the chocolate. Mm. We got some dark chocolate. I, I would say splurge a little on the dark chocolate. Get some good chocolate. I mean. In my opinion, it's the most important part of the cookie. $10, perhaps. <laughs> sure, maybe. I'm actually confused, like, doesn't chocolate have milk in it? Those are semi-sweet chunks, okay? Uh -huh. Yes, a lot of semi-sweet chocolate does have milk in it, but if you check the label, some of them don't. So just it's wonderful. double check. <laughs> and you can find some that is vegan. Okay, you've done a great job. Now we're gonna scoop our dough. Okay. This part's fun. Great. If you want more cookies, you can just have a smaller scoop and then you can have a whole family down here. Now it's time <laughs> for vegan trivia. 
A 2016 Oxford University study found if everybody adopted a vegan diet, food-related emissions would go down by what percentage by 2050? Let's go with 45%. 70. 70? Mm-hmm. That's rough. I think it's just important to know these things because you don't have to go vegan 100%. Replace your favorite recipe, make it vegan, and you're doing like a little bit of good. Well, I guess that just means I'll have to come over more and make you more vegan food or <laughs> vice versa. Is that the takeaway from that <laughs> harrowing study? <laughs> you know, we gotta do what we can. One track mind. <laughs> So now we're gonna chill these for like 60 minutes so that the flavors can kind of like come together mm -hmm. and then we're just gonna bake them off for 15 minutes. Cookies, cookies, cookies. Look at these cookies. <laughs> <laughs> that noise made me cough. <laughs> these look, look good. so good. Look how gooey they look. I know. I know I give you a hard time, mm -hmm. but I've got a little soft spot for you. Uh, since you said you like to have your cookies with milk. <laughs> <laughs> I've been hiding these under there for a little while. But they're fresh. They're fresh. Uh -huh. I made you homemade cashew milk because you like milk with your cookies. That's so sweet. Here's to, to you. Okay. Sure. And veganism. Yes. And Oxford University. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. Yummy. It's really nice. It's good. It's sweet. It's creamy. Now I think it's time for you to try one of these cookies. So I guess we should share it probably, right? So I'll give you a little... <laughs> Are you go. kidding me? <laughs> okay, ready? Oh my god! <laughs> That's amazing. It's crunchy on the outside. Mm -hmm. It's like, the inside's so gooey mm -hmm. and moist. And mm -hmm. we know how much I want things to be moist. Weird. It's weird, you know, I don't normally like pecans. But like, A, I don't taste the pecans, but almost I don't know if it's some sort of placebo effect of having known the process we made it in. Mm. I feel like some sort of like a nutty, buttery taste. <laughs> oh, f <laughs> Oops. <laughs> and when this happens, kids, you know what? It's even better. You can't have too much cashew. <laughs> oh, no. Whose world is it? This is my world. The vegan world of baking is mine now. <laughs> it's the moment of truth. It's the moment of truth. We've got your Diddy Reese cookie. Ah, uh, Diddy. We've got the Aaron McKenna cookie from earlier. And then we've got our cookie, my uh, cookie, the homemade one. I have an attachment to these two, I won't lie. This because we made it together. Mm -hmm. It's very sweet. Um, and this one, Diddy Reese is special to me. That's right. You have a relationship mm. with that cookie. This is, this is, this is definitely <laughs> the standard I set when it comes to a good. So that's like a 10 for a mm -hmm. cookie for you. Mm -hmm. Okay, good to know. Then we have, of course, Aaron McKenna's cookie. We had earlier, loved it. I really ate. good. <laughs> I kept eating them. You, I, don't even wanna, when, I don't even know if you're gonna expose how many of these you ate earlier. Even when the camera stopped rolling, I couldn't stop eating them. They were great. Just so chewy. You know, it has like a much crispier texture than this. This one's very doughy almost. Mm -hmm. Well, this one has like a, uh, that crispy exterior. It's like it's flaky. For some people, that's like the best part. It's like the whole cookie mm -hmm. is kind of like the edge of the cookie. So that's, yeah. a, that's a choice. And then of course we have this, this beauty, the Merlia cookie, <laughs> you know. Uh, Merlia. I mean, it was- It's so pretty. It, it, is, it is so pretty, just like you. Oh my. You don't have to pretend like you're not gonna just eat more. It's, I'm, it's just, I'm not gonna say anymore. You're having a fucking laugh with that cookie. You're having a laugh with how good that is. Woo! Oh my God, you're full of surprises at all times. Yeah, the Aaron McKenna one is great. Mm -hmm. um, I will say though that the fact that it's a little, it's, it's not near me, mm. it's, it's a bit of a, I don't really go to that part of town. Not everybody has vegan bakeries available to them Exactly. Either. Whereas on the other end, you know, the Merlier cookie, I mean, it, it was quick to make and it used very simple ingredients. And you don't have any baking experience really, right? Yeah, it's it, pretty easy. Very easy. Anybody mm -hmm. can do it. All right, let's, we'll just wait. Okay. I'm gonna compare these two obviously because this is just the gold standard. This is a 10. Aaron McKenna's. Great cookie, I'd give it a solid 7.75 out of 10. It's <laughs> very specific. The Merlier cookie, honestly, I'm being completely honest. Please. I'm gonna get, like this is truly, this is a 10.56. No, really? 10.56, it's, I can't, I honestly, it's flawless to me. Vegan or not, <laughs> it's just a fantastic cookie all around. It's moist, but it's still crispy on the outside. It's You're an obscene messed. amount of chocolate, which is what I love. If you just gave this to me blind, I would absolutely not think it's vegan at all. Really? Absolutely not. I think it's just a great homemade cookie. That is honestly my goal. Because I want people to feel like they don't have to miss out on their favorite things, just because they maybe want to go a little more plant-based. And you know what? The fact that this is doing a tiny little bit of good towards helping the world, you know what? Justifies it in my head. <laughs> so I'm just gonna keep eating these for the rest of the day. Because I'm helping the planet. Aria, I have to ask. Yes. Are you sure you're not just picking my cookie because you have a crush on me? 
Even if I did, I would absolutely still be picking this cookie because I'm a supportive coworker. <laughs> no, it's a good cookie. It's a fantastic cookie. And also, you do have a crush on me. I mean, I don't know, Earl. You're the one that wrangled me uh, for an entire day to send, spend time making cookies with you. No! Yeah. You just find more excuses to, to be next to me on camera. I get it, I get it. Just so you know, nothing's gonna happen on camera. <laughs> Thank you for spending the day with me. This was quite a treat, as one might say. A real treat. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Please let me know in the comments below who you'd like me to invite on to veganize something for, or just let me know what you want me to veganize and I'll find someone who loves that thing. She's just secretly hoping that you guys want me back again to no. spend more time making more things with me. I get it. Hey, hey, I'm busy. I can't always <laughs> be here. Out of here. I can't. We have fun. It's a good time. No. Oh. And cookies. <laughs> you might get yourself a kiss after this. Oh my god. She's blushing now. No, I'm not. She's excited. No, I'm not. She's not getting one. Inappropriate. We're co-workers. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm gonna die. <laughs>